back to Estancia Sao Carlos and the Can We Make Money From Sugarcane series. This is the last video in this series. So in the previous one, we edited, edited, harvested the, uh, the sugarcane and we have our 1.1 million ish liters of sugarcane here. 1.13 million liters so the the plan would be if we were to keep playing to fill the sugar factory over here um and then to sell what was left um or, or put put as much in the sugar cane sugar processing factory as we can and i'll talk about that in a bit to process for the rest of the year through to the next harvest um sell the rest because the price is good in october and repeat the process so gonna go through all of what we've done and all the numbers now and wrap things up okay so let's run through what we did what we've got and where we've ended up so we've run this test for two years in the first year we planted the sugar cane into a fully fertilized field um, we weeded it with a hoe and then we harvested it. It didn't need lime at that point. And then in year two, we or I, I weeded it with a weeder after harvest, did two applications of fertilizer. I think I did one solid and one liquid. Shouldn't make any difference. And then we harvested it. Um, after the first harvest, the needs plowing state did appear, but sugarcane is set up to ignore that requirement and I think the results below show that that was the case. Um, so we had in the first year, 1 million and let's call it 1 million and 89,000 liters. And in the second year, 1 million 130,000 liters. So that's about a 50,000 liter difference. With the scale of numbers that we have, I am going to put that down to noise. So a bit of quick maths says that's actually a 5% variation in yield, which is quite a high a bit more than I expected hopefully I've done that very quick maths correctly so yeah you know I, I don't see any reason why there would be that yield apart from I'm still pretty sure that year to year whatever you do you get some variation in FS so yeah that's what we got um moving on so let's have a look at how this worked out financially we started in um start from scratch so we originally had half a million dollars but that included a two hundred thousand dollar loan so got rid of that so we started with three hundred thousand dollars um from that we brought off uh, brought a field that was basically two hundred and fifty thousand dollars um all of the equipment that i used i leased um and that is predominantly because the harvesters are incredibly expensive and although we spent $128,000 on leasing the equipment you know a harvester is 300 grand so you're looking at quite a long-term commitment to pay that back essentially um the the seed or i guess whatever it is that you plant with the planting cost us 12 grand so that was expensive it was a lot um and then we had some other costs so looking you know in kind of in total um so the land cost us about a quarter of a million dollars leasing was about one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. so it wasn't cheap but i still think that was the best way to do things there are some things that i could have done cheaper i leased a fairly expensive solid fur spreader after the uh after year one and at the beginning of year two we could have saved some money there but you know it is what it is it was a bit of fun um other costs so that's a mixture of uh wages and whatever fs throws into other costs that was 12 grand over the two years um production costs so at the end of the first harvest we brought a sugar production plant to process the sugar cane into sugar because that's much more profitable so that was the seventy thousand dollars in year one and then the processing costs for year one were 100 over oh, one one thousand five hundred and seventy two dollars and because we're going to put in roughly the same amount actually I'm putting a little bit more I've just assumed it's about the same it'll be a little bit more but I don't think it's going to change things significantly um so with that production we put through in the first year of five hundred and fifty three thousand liters in the second year my intent would have been to max that out at five hundred and sixty seven thousand liters 
Um, and that is some of the difference you can see in the income there. There is a difference from the fact that we got more. We got about 50,000 liters more, but also I would have put more of the sugar cane through the production into sugar, and that does increase its value quite a bit. But so first year, we had an income of $343,000. And I'm predicting that from the second year, we would have made about $380,000. So a total of about $725,000 income. Um, total costs for the two years, including buying the field, were about $475,000. So we're looking at um, over two years, we made a bit of a, a loss in the first year. Um, just with all the costs. Luckily, what I was able to do is I um, I borrowed some money at the end of that year to lease the kit that I needed for the harvester. I was then able to, in that first day, in that one day, which meant I didn't pay any interest on the loan, which is something that I've learned. If you repay the loan before the end of the day, you don't pay any interest. We were able to do this without actually going really kind of in debt at all. So our 300,000 pounds was enough to get us through everything. Um, so at the end, I think at the end of the first year, we had some money left in the bank, um, but with buying the field and then selling everything, we were down from the 300,000 that we started on. Second year, we made a profit of I swear I've totally should say profit of $327,000 roughly. That's what I'm predicting anyway. Um, so our profit at the end would have been, not even our profit, our, our money we would have get made would have been $251,000. Um, and that would have been on top of the 300 that we started with. So by the end of year two, we would have had over half a million dollars in the bank if we didn't you know, buy anything, do anything differently. And we would have had the field that was worth about a quarter of a million dollars. So, yeah, sugarcane is massively profitable in my mind. Um, so this is pretty much what I've just said. So we started with $300,000 in the bank. By the end of year two, we'd made an additional $227,000. So, um, yeah, by the time we'd sold everything from the end of from the second year harvest, so that would have been by the point of year three harvest, we would have had over half a million dollars in the bank, plus we would have owned a field worth a quarter of a million dollars. So, you know, we started at 300,000, we would have ended up, you know, really much, much better than that. So is sugarcane profitable? Definitely very, very profitable. I think this is pretty much where we started this series. Um, apart from the fact that we've made a shed load of money and we've got a shed load more crop to sell. So the if, if you haven't watched the previous episodes because you just wanted the answer, then there's the answer. Yes, it is very profitable. If you want to see the journey and you haven't, go back and watch it. I, I, I thought the videos were, were quite enjoyable. It was quite cool to go on that journey rather than just give you the answer at the end you know some people want that and that's what this video is um, so if you found this video useful or you've enjoyed the series click the like button any comments questions suggestions tell me what i've done wrong then stick them below um and i will see you next time getting those weird graphics i don't know what that is anyway i will see you next time on farming simulator